So we're going to open up in prayer in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this service tonight. We thank you, Father, for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for your anointing in this place. We thank you, Father, for everyone who is here, those who is watching this broadcast online. We thank you, Father, that your people's eyes of understanding has been enlightened, that they receive your word. And Father, we thank you, Lord God, for the impartation of revelation of your word and understanding what you're saying to us. So Father, as Pastor Larry come and ministering to your people, we ask you, Lord God, that you use him as your instrument, as your vessel. And Father, we're giving you all the praise and we're giving you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. His name should be praised forever and ever and ever. In, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we look forward to hear the message today because those who was here this morning and those who watch this broadcast, the service in the morning, I mean, it's powerful message God gave to us. Amen. So now we're going to be expecting to, to hear from heaven. That's what the, the, the whole point when we come into the house of the Lord. It's not just a entertainment or, and, and you know, music is wonderful. And when we worship the Lord and we stand in his presence and hear, I mean, it's just so, I mean, it's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But also, it's important to hear the word, to hear the message that God gave to us, right? So when we come into the service and come into his presence, we need to be expected to hear from heaven. Amen? Expectation. Expectation to hear from God. And that's, I believe, that's the desire of your hearts, right? Those who is here and those who is watching this broadcast because there's no distance in the spirit. So also to expect, Lord, I want to hear from you. What this minister is saying, I want to hear from you. Because when we hear from the Lord and God will speak to us, each of us uniquely, because each of us have different lives and different circumstances, different needs. And we can sit, all of us can sit in the same place or hear the same message, but we receive in a way that we need to receive. That specific word specifically for you and just for you, for your situation. Amen. So that's, that's how God ministering to us because he care about you. He care about us. He loves his people. And we are those who is born of the spirit of God, washed by the blood of Jesus, accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, repent from our sin, turn away from that wicked lifestyle and the followers of Christ, we're the one who God says beloved. We're the one who is loved by Jesus. Amen. We are special people washed by his blood, being redeemed from the penalty of sin. Hallelujah. So, Pastor Larry is coming and he's going to be ministering to us in Jesus' name. So get ready to receive the word of God. Amen? Amen, amen, amen. Well, praise the Lord. How's everyone doing today? Well, I tell you what, it's been a, a time. 
we are here. God is good. His mercies endure forever. Amen. Now, tonight, I'm going to be ministering the Word of God. Glory to God. I need my iPad. Is it back there? Okay. Thank you. Okay, so now we are set. Amen, amen, and amen. You know, God is good. Everything that we need to accomplish, what he has given us to accomplish, it is available for us now in the word. Amen. If we can believe, we can receive the promise of God manifesting in our lives right now. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place tonight. We can't do nothing without you. We trust you, Holy Spirit, that you will lead us, that you will guide us in all truth, that you will show us things to come. Holy Spirit, I yield to you now, and I ask that you would touch every heart under the sound of my voice. And I pray, Father, that they have an ear to hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Now, Lord, as we get into our message, let the Holy Spirit lead me and direct me into everything that I should say. Let your name be glorified, Father, because it's in your mighty, majestic name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, God bless you. Amen. Amen. So now let's get into the word. I'm not going to keep you long tonight, but I want to share some things with you, amen, that you might already know. Amen. But I believe that because we have not truly acknowledged in our heart that it is the will of God that we have still we are still struggling in this area even in our faith amen but tonight I want to share this with you because I believe that God wants to touch you God wants to minister to you God wants to heal you that is his ultimate goal so that his name can be glorified in the earth. Amen. He came teaching, preaching, and healing. Amen. Glory to God. So let's get into the blessing today because I believe right now is a good time for us to experience God's healing power. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Is healing the will of God? Is healing the will of God? Well, I, I want to answer that for you because I believe with all my heart, yes. I believe with all my heart, yes. Most definitely, yes. Amen. So let's get into the Word and let's see what the Bible said. In the Old Testament, God reveals himself as Jehovah Rapha. Amen. The Lord who heals. In, in the book of Exodus chapter 15. Exodus chapter 15. We're going to go through a few scriptures today because I want you to be reassured in your heart that it is God's will for you to be healed. Exodus 15 and verse number 26 says, And said, If thou would diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and would do that which is right in his sight, and would give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptian. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. In other words, God said, I am Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that healeth. Amen. The Lord that healeth. Amen. Now in the New Testament, God in Christ is also revealed as the healer of sicknesses and diseases. Peter recalls in the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse number 38. Now, this is a very familiar passage of Scripture. We should all know this. 
how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Amen. Jesus himself said, I have not, I have come to, I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. John chapter 6, verse 38. Amen. Therefore, since Jesus went about healing every, everybody, healing, I believe, must be in the will of God. Because everywhere Jesus went, people was being healed, and Jesus was doing the healing. Amen. It was Jesus that was doing it. So I believe that healing is the will of God for your life, for my life. And that's why I truly believe that this can be your season. This can be your breakthrough. This can be the time that you receive the promise of God concerning your health right now. No matter, see, it doesn't matter what the doctor has said your sickness is. Your sickness is not bigger than God. <laughs> your sickness, your disease is not bigger than God. God is, God is, he, I mean, he's, he's the ultimate God. There's no God like him. Amen. There are so many people who have made themselves gods. Amen. With their own hands, made themselves a God. But God was not made by hand. God is the creator of all. He knows all. He sees all. Amen. So now when we come to God, we must believe that he is God. That he is a rewarder of them that just really seek him. Amen. The Bible says in Hebrew chapter 11, verse number, verse number 1, says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We can't see God, but my God, I know he's, I know he's there. Amen. I know he's there. I know that all things work together for good to them that love him and to those who are called according to his purpose. Amen. God is with us right now. Amen. He's with us right now. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse number 4, he said, Surely he had borne our grief and carried our sorrows, and yet we did esteem him, screaming spirit of God, and afflicted. Amen. And it goes on to say the next verse, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, the Bible said that we are healed. We are healed. Amen. So I believe that now that the, we as, see God, God, when God write, when God gave us this Bible, He also tells us in the Bible, and I think in the book of Titus that God cannot lie. So if God cannot lie, and He gave us every word in this Bible to use and he and he and he and as 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 him speaking directly to us, amen, as statues and his ordinances and his laws, amen. You see now God is not gonna take back that what he has given us. He expects us to believe what he has said and to stand on the promise of what he has said. Remember what he said in Psalm 107 verse 20 and he sent his word and heal them and deliver them from their destruction. And I believe right now that we're in that season where if you have a need in your body, amen, that we serve a God that is able to heal, that is able to deliver, that is able to make you free. Amen. And if you would just hold God to his word and not allow the word of God to fall to the ground, but simply believe I believe that God will do exactly what he said that he would do. I believe that we serve a God that not only will heal you, but will set you free. Set you free. How many of you want to be set free today? Amen. You want to be set free. Amen. I believe that you are in the right place at the right time. Why? Because this is God's season. And right now, you see, right now, this is Rosh Hashanah week. This is what the, what the Jewish people call New Year. Amen. We are in a season where God is, is showing up in a very powerful way. God is showing up in a very powerful way. My God, if you wasn't here this morning, if you didn't, if you didn't listen to this morning message, let me encourage you. Go and listen to this morning message. Listen to this morning message. I'm telling you, it was anointed. The presence of God, the power of God was in the house Amen. This was not just a message for us here, but it was a message for the 
body of Christ. Amen. So you need to go back and listen to that message. And then if if you would, share that message. Amen. And also you can share this one too as well. Amen. Glory to God. But right now, let's look, let's look at some scriptures because I want you to receive God's word tonight. The Bible says in the book of Mark, chapter 9, verse number 23, is that Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. God wants you right now to get into faith and believe for your healing. You see, your sickness that you are, the sickness that you are experiencing in your body didn't come from God. It didn't come from God. So if you want to get rid of it, why don't you just make a decision right now in your heart? God, God, I know this sickness didn't come from you, and this sickness is invading the, my body, and my body is your body because I am of you. Amen. And if this sickness is invading your body, then you need to just, you need to just come, to, come to understand that you are the temple of God. And if sickness is invading your body, then it's coming against you the temple of God, which you are. Amen. And God wants you free. God wants you healed. God wants you delivered. God wants you to have a testimony of his goodness and his mercy. Because his mercies are renewed daily. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna minister to you the word of God tonight. We're gonna release the anointing tonight and we want you to come in agreement with the word that's being preached. Release your faith. We want you to receive your healing. And I know you might be having some difficulties right now in your body. You might be in pain right now. But let me tell you something. Every disease and every germ has to bow down at the name of Jesus. Every sickness has to bow down at the name of Jesus. You just got to believe that. I used to be very sick myself. And I know what I'm talking about. I used to be very sick. I walk around every day with pain. Every day. And one day, I got a hold of God's word. And the word of God, I didn't have any money, didn't have any insurance, didn't have nothing but a lot of pain in my body. And God revealed his word to me as Jehovah Rapha. He showed me that he is the healer. Amen. And I've been healed and been teaching healing ever since. I've been healed and been teaching healing ever since. Why? Because I believe. Because I believe. Amen. That's what God, God wants you to believe. He wants you to believe. Do you believe with me? Amen. Will you believe with me? Because I believe. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, in the book, excuse me, the book of Mark, chapter 10, verse number 27 says, And Jesus looking around, Jesus looking upon them, said, With, him, with men, it is impossible. But not with God. With God, all things are possible. See, you might think that it's impossible for you to receive your healing. You might have been sick so long that you think it's impossible for you to receive your healing. I want you to know it is not impossible. God can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think if we just only believe. The Bible says in the book of Mark chapter 20, chapter 11, verse number 22, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. God wants you to believe the word. He wants you to begin to believe the gospel. The word of God has the power to bring forth the great is the greatest deliverance, the greatest manifestation of his strength that you have ever experienced in your life. You might say, Well, Pastor, you know what? Uh uh, that that might have been some, that might have been for another time, but but right now I, I just don't see it. You don't. I'm gonna tell you something. Faith is not looking at the things that you can see. Faith is looking at the things that cannot be seen. Faith is looking at the things that cannot be seen. Can you see your brain? No, you can't. Can you? How do you know that you have a brain? Have you ever seen it? You might be a some sawdust up there. Might be some some gravels, rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so the way some people act I, I, I wonder it probably is rocks <laughs> but glory to God I believe that God wants you to have a faith in him why because he says in the Hebrew chapter 11 verse number verse number 6 that without faith it is impossible to please him but he that come to God must believe that he is and that he is rewarded them to just seek him amen then in Romans chapter 10 verse number 17 so that faith cometh by what hearing and hearing by the word of God. I'm going to give you the word of God and if you can believe what the word of God says 
and release your faith. I'm telling you, I believe you are going to receive a manifestation of the word of God in your life. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible says also in the book of Mark chapter 16, Mark chapter 16 says, Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And he said unto them, Go ye, now see, this, now this is so important, because see, he given you a charge, and if you don't believe that you can carry out the, the commission that he's given you, then you're going to be you, you're going to be in a tough shape. But notice what he said: Go ye therefore, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. And to every creature, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Now this is where I was when God healed me, when I was so sick, didn't have no money, didn't have any insurance. I mean, I was broke, busted, couldn't be trusted. But God delivered me, God healed me, God set me free, and I believe God will do the same thing for you. He said, go ye into, this is verse number 15, Mark chapter 16, verse number 15 said, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. See, we condemn our own self when we refuse to believe the word of God. Amen. Then, verse, then it goes on to say that these signs, verse number 17, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils. Amen. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. You see, I've learned over the years that when sickness is, 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 is trying to grip my body, it's, a, it's not that sickness trying to grip my body. It's a demonic spirit trying to grip my body. I learned that over the years, and I learned how to st take a stand against demonic spirit because the Bible said in, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse number 10, that find my brother, be strong in the Lord. Amen. And he said, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against power, and against the rulers of the dark of this world, and against spiritual wickedness. Where? In high places. In high places. Amen. So we know that the, the, the sickness and disease doesn't come from God. It is the enemy trying to take your health away from you. Amen. So you walk around, walk, you walking in divine health, but the devil is trying to take your health from you so that you can lose your confidence in God. Trying to stop you from believing God. Amen. And that's, that's one of the main reasons why he wants you to, to walk around sick. Because he wants you to lose your confidence that God cannot do what he said he can do. And I want to assure you that what God said, he's also able to bring you to pass. Amen. And Luke chapter 6, verse number 19 says, And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for there went virtue out of him and healed them all. And healed them all. There went virtue out of him and healed them all. Went out of who? Went out of Jesus. Amen. But, but, but if Jesus was holy, then why would he, the unclean people want to touch him? Because they know that when they come in contact with this holy man, that this holiness that's upon Jesus is going to drive that sickness right out of them. My friend, that is something that we need to grab a hold of and to understand. God wants to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. Amen. You know, we get ready to go to Pakistan again in, no in November, and I'm going to be uh, ministering over there. Amen. And I'm going, and I'm going to tell you something. God has already showed me that this is going to be one of the most powerful outpouring of the Holy Spirit that this nation has experienced in a long time. Amen. And so I want you all to be in agreement with me, be praying for me. Amen. And for the team that's going, me and uh, uh, uh Dr. Fernando, amen, we are going together, and we're going to be ministering the word of God, amen, believing God for a great manifestation, a great outpouring, amen, because God has already showed me, amen. There came, there came also of the multitude, this is Acts chapter 5, verse number 16, Acts chapter 5, verse 16, and there came also a multitude out of the cities around about unto Jerusalem, 
bringing sick folk and them which were vexed with unclean spirits and they laid them and, 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 he, and this is what it said now and they were healed everyone and they were healed everyone amen everyone was healed God wants to heal you right now amen God wants to heal you right now. And like the, the, the very familiar passage of scripture in Luke, is in Acts chapter 10, verse 38, how Jesus went about all Galilee, is how, how, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Amen. And the Bible tells us for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Sickness is not from God. Sickness is of the devil. And this is why Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil and to introduce to you and to me that healing is available. Amen. That healing is available. Glory to God. I believe that too. I believe that. Now let's look at the book of, let's go back now. Let's go to the book of, uh, hallelujah. Let's go to the book of Matt. Book of Mark. Book of Mark. Book of Mark chapter, chapter 5. In the book of Mark chapter 5, look at verse number 22. Mark 5 verse 22. And behold, there cometh, and behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. When he saw him, he fell down, he fell at his feet. When he saw him, the Bible says he fell at his feet. Amen. Glory to God. Are y'all still here? Verse 23 said, And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. That she may be healed, and she shall, that she shall live. Amen. Now, I like that because you see Jesus is about to show up right now on the behalf of this family. You know, you might be a family member. You might you might have a family, and you and, and your child is, is 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 sick, and you're looking for answers, and you you crying out, and and, and all of us you went to the doctors, and the doctors couldn't do nothing for her. And, and so now you, you, you just you turn your heart toward Jesus and you say Lord if thou wilt heal my daughter then all of a sudden Jesus looked back at you and with compassion and he said I will and he said then he turned and said go home your daughter is made whole my friend let me tell you something how would that how would that how would that cause you? What would that do to your faith? How would that affect your heart? How would you be able to, to would, would you be able to stand before God from that point on with pure faith, believe in him, no matter what he say to you? That, that would literally change my life. Amen. I don't know about you, but my heart would be touched in a very powerful way if God would do that for me and yet he did do it for me that's why I preach this message so much because I love him for what he did for me and I know if he did it for me he can do it for you he can do it for you the doctor told me four and a half years ago that I had cancer he told me four and a half years ago that I had cancer amen and uh and, 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 and my faith just went out the back door. I know, I understand when you receive a bad report from a doctor or from someone that's in a position of authority. I understand the, 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 the power of those words when you hear those words, and especially when they are spoken toward you. Amen. And, and all of a sudden, when that doctor told me that I had cancer, I couldn't say nothing else. I mean, I became silent. Only thing I could do from that point on was just nod my head. Yet yeah, no, you know, just nod my head. But when I stepped outside of that doctor's office, I began to take matters in my own hand. Amen. 
I begin to exercise my spiritual authority because I know that God has given me authority and power over all the powers of the enemy. And I know those words that came out of that doctor's mouth was not sent by God. Amen. Because those words devastated my heart. Amen. It caused my faith to be, to be, uh, I mean, to be just, just, to be lost. I didn't have faith at that point. But when I stepped out of that door, I looked up toward heaven. I said, God, that doctor just lied upon me. He just lied on me. He said that I have cancer. And according to your word, you said you sent your word. Psalm 107 verse 20. You sent your word and you healed me and you delivered me from my destruction. I'm one of them, Lord, that you healed. So I don't accept what that doctor said. And so I never told I never told my wife about what, what I was going through. I never told my family member what, I, what the doctor said to me. I didn't tell anyone what the doctor said to me. Only thing, only ones that I talked to about what the doctor said concerning my health was God and the devil. <laughs> I talk to God and I talk to the devil. Why? Why do I talk to God? Because God is my is my deliverer. Why do I talk to the devil? Because the devil is a liar. Amen. You don't believe nothing the devil said to you. I don't care who he uses. If he, it, it, I don't care if he is using the doctor. That doesn't mean you got to believe everything the doctor say. Amen. You might be sick, but that doesn't mean you have to start publicizing it, telling the whole world. Amen. God wants you to understand that he has given you power over all the powers of the enemy. And he knows that your sickness is not unto death. And he wants you well. He wants you healed. He wants you delivered. He wants you free. He wants you to acknowledge, God, my body belongs to you. And I surrender my will. I surrender my body. I lay my life down as a living sacrifice. God, I give you me. <laughs> Amen. I give you me. Amen. Give me you. <laughs> Amen. I give you me. Why? Because I know that if I give you me, then you're going to love me. You're going to take care of me. You're going to watch over me. Amen. That doctor told me that I had cancer. I said, Lord, that doctor just lied on me. I don't have no cancer. <clears throat> and then I went, I, he, and he sent me to get a, some medicine. I went to the pharmacy and got the medicine that he told me to get. Yeah. <laughs> That medicine is still at home, had never been opened. <laughs> it have not, I have not taken one of those pills, amen, and I still have it. And that was four and a half years ago, folks, when the doctor told me I had cancer. And then he's going to tell me, get this medicine, I want you to take it, I want you to come back in, 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 uh, in 60 days. We're going we're gonna to see the, the, the progress of this cancer, we're going to see the progress of it. And when I went back to the doctor, I had, I had been on a fast, I've been praying, I've been spending time with the Lord. I went back to the doctor, and the doctor said, I know what I saw. He said, but uh, I don't see it no more. I don't see it no more. It's gone. And I began to shout and praise God right there in the doctor's office. He said, oh, you one of them, huh? I said, yes, I am. Amen. Begin to just praise God right there in the doctor's office. Amen. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Don't you be ashamed of the gospel. You want God, you want God to work on you, you want God to heal you, you want God to, 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 to set you free, then hold on to the word that God has spoken to you. Don't let go of God's promises. Amen. Don't let go of God's promises because God wants to touch you. God wants to heal you. God wants to deliver you. God wants to set you free. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I speak to rheumatoid arthritis right now. Rheumatoid arthritis right now in the joints, in the joints, in the name of Jesus. I speak to rheumatoid arthritis right now in the name of Jesus. Hear the word of the Lord. I bind you right now in Jesus' name. And I command you to come out of that hands. Come out of those joints. Come out now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord God. Now, Father, I release your anointing, your healing power right now into those joints. In the name of Jesus, I release that anointing right now to flow freely. You said free as I receive it, freely give it. I release that healing anointing right now into those joints in Jesus' name. Rheumatoid arthritis. Be bound in Jesus' name. Come out and touch the child of God no more. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, I, I, I'm just, I'm just sitting here, and, and you know, I just, and I just see someone, 
I see someone, you bo you walk around holding your stomach. You walk around holding your stomach and you have a, 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 a very severe ulcer in your stomach and, your st and, 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 you, and you, you try to take all these medicine that, that they have, but they don't really work for you. They don't really do no good for you. In the name of Jesus right now, I exercise the authority over this ulcer right now in Jesus' name. And I speak to the, to the lining of the stomach right now in Jesus' name. I said be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcers, I command you to come out. I command healing to flow right now into the lining of the stomach right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Pain, go! Thank you for it, Father. Thank you, oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All oh, shake it. Marco Rosiki Marabaki. Prostate. You have a swollen prostate. I'm talking to a man. You have swollen prostate. I don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. But God is speaking to me about your prostate right now. You got you get up throughout the night going to the bathroom and, and, and you and you don't get you don't get your proper rest. I'm talking to you right now. God wants to heal you right now. If you just raise your hands up in the air right now and begin to worship God, begin to praise God, and begin to thank Him for your healing right now. Oh, there it goes. There it is. There it is. They're going to power God right now. They're going to power God right now from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. It's going out through your body. There it is right now. It's in your prostate area. You've been healed. Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. There it is. It's yours. It's yours. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for oh I just heard kidneys, kidneys. Someone is having kidneys. I don't know if you're on dialysis. I don't know what's going on with your kidneys, but I see kidneys right now. I see kidneys right now. In the name of Jesus, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, I curse that disease of the kidney. I come against that sickness of the kidney right now in Jesus' name. Father, I release your healing power to flow. Mm. I release your healing power to flow. Mm, there it is right now. For the kidneys, for the kidneys. In the name of Jesus. You may be on dialysis, but let me tell you something. Your kidneys are about to begin to function properly, and you're going to know because that, that machine is going to work. It's not going to be working for you. And you're going to go back to the doctor. You're going to find out that your kidneys are starting to function properly, and they're going to they're release you from that. They're going to release you from that. Amen. You're, gonna, you, you, you're not going you're not gonna need it no more. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for it, Father. Oh, Thank you, Lord. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Shatta la rabaku rabasi. Ma kere rabaki. Ma jere kila baso toro rabaki. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the back. I pray for the 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 lower part of the back, the disc in the back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see three herniated discs in the lower part of the back. Three herniated discs. <laughs> Amen. And, 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 and it causing so it causing a lot of pain. And and I see pinched nerves right around in that area. Pinched nerves. And and sometimes you, you barely can you barely can get up. You barely can walk. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, for a creative miracle. Creative miracle. In the name of Jesus, into that back joint right now. Into the back joint right now in Jesus' name. Ho, oh, oh shit, kid. My bro, so. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's just like you have strength by the by the inch because of this hundred rated disc. Uh you the, the this you it you it costs you the strength because of this, because of this, your back problem, dude. Now God gonna touch you right now, and you're gonna grow back up. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna regain that inch that you've lost in Jesus' name, Father. In the name of Jesus, I release your anointing right now in the skeleton bones of this person. In the name of Jesus, in the lower part of the back, right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, put your hand right there on that on that pain right now in your back. Put your hand on that joints right now in your back. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing now. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. I got my hand on my back as a point of contact. And as you put your hand on your back, receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you. I praise you. I glorify you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you. 
Oh, thank you, Father. Praise you. Now just worship God. Just worship God. And thank God for your healing. Thank God for the healing power that is flowing in this place right now. That is flowing across the atmosphere right now. That is flowing across the radio wave right now. Father, we just give you praise. We give you glory, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, see, let up our Ah, Maria Soto. Dora Baki. Oh, I see. Mm, thank you, Lord. 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 You that are having lung problems, lung problems. I don't know what kind of problem you're having in your lungs, but you're having lung problems. Amen. I don't know if it's a, it might be, it might be, might even be a, a allergies. I don't know what it is. It might be a, a allergies. It may be a, a, a whatever. Amen. And you're having lung problems. Sometimes it just, just, it just causes you to, to just be so uncomfortable. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, Shalom, Madro de Seki, Jehovah Rapha, you are our healer. Now, right now, in the name of Jesus, I release your healing power right now. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Lungs, be healed. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Shaka, Moraba Sata Rabaki, Mare Seki Rabako Shaka Rabaki. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God, I praise you. I praise you, Father. I praise you. I thank you for your healing, Father. I thank you for your healing. Thank you, Lord. 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 Praise you. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your word will not return void, Father. Your word will not return void, but it will accomplish that pleases you. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Oh, thank you, Lord. Praise you, praise you, praise you, praise you. I see a, it's, uh, someone, your, your child, your child is, 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 in, is, is, is real bad off sick, and you don't know what's wrong with your child. You don't know what's wrong with your child. Right now, release your faith with me in agreement. Come in agreement with me right now in the name of Jesus for your child. Right now in the name of Jesus, come in agreement with me right now for your child. Father, in the name of Jesus, you said in Psalm 107, verse 20, that you sent your word and you healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Right now, Father, as they come in agreement with me for their children, Father, I release that anointing right now. Oh, my God. Yes, Lord, I release that anointing right now to begin to flow into those children, begin to flow into that child in the name of Jesus. And I want you right now to just lay your hand upon that child right now. Lay your hand upon that child right now. If you're close by that child, lay your hand upon that child right now. And Father, in the name of Jesus, as they honor the request that is given, Father, I ask, let that anointing be released now in Jesus' name. Let this child rise up from this bed of affliction and let this child be healed now in Jesus' name. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Mm, I see. Oh, I wasn't intending to go through all this tonight, but glory to God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. I got another scripture that I want to share right now. Because I believe that God that we serve when we honor him when we walk in obedience concerning the word of God God shows up and he shows himself strong on the behalf of them that have faith he shows himself strong on the, on the behalf of those that have faith amen oh yeah Thank you, Lord. You just brought it back to my remembrance. In the book of Mark, book of Mark, the book of Mark, chapter 5. Look at verse number 25 now. Mark chapter 5, verse number 25. Amen. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind, 
For she said, verse number 28, For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. This woman began to prophesy her healing. She began to prophesy her healing. She said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Amen. You need to see what's going on. You need to see what you need to see what's going on in your body. You need to have an understand what's going on in your body. And you need to begin to declare that you will receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Father, I, re I thank you, Father, for your word today, Father, that your word will not return void. I thank you, Father, for the anointing to lift the burdens and destroy you. I thank you, Father, that your word is full of life and health and healing to all our flesh. And as we honor you and as we take advantage of your word, as we follow the leading and the guidance of your word, God, that your word will not return void, but it will accomplish that which pleases you. Father, I thank you right now for all that you've done and all that you're doing in tonight's service. I bless you. I bless your people. I thank you, Father, that your word will not return void. But, Father, many lives have been touched and changed in the name of Jesus by the power of your spirit. I give you praise. I give you glory for it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Well, glory to God. If you're here tonight, you want you, you, God touch your life. I want I want you to just just let me know. Give a testimony, amen. If God touched your life tonight, amen. Just let us know. Uh, now, if you're here tonight, also and we're going to take our offering right now. You that are with us by the internet, you want to sow a seed. You can go to my website, LabbergerMinistries.com, amen. Or you can go use my cash app, Larry Bergens, amen. Then uh, there's another way you can send your mail in through the Postal Service. That's P.O. Box 417913, Sacramento, California, 95841. That's P.O. Box 417913, Sacramento, California, 95841. Amen. And uh, we're going we're gonna to receive the offering right now. Father, I thank you for everyone that you are touching their life right now in the name of Jesus. That, you, that are playing their seed right now, Father. God, I thank you and I bless them for it in Jesus' name. And Father, I'm, as we help, help, help we, as we get our seed, Father, and as we release our seed, Father, we believe, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you're going to cause that seed to go and grow and multiply. And then, Father, we will see uh, the manifestation of the harvest of the seed in Jesus' name, real soon. So, Father, we release our faith. We release the seed into your fit, rich, fertile ground. And we believe, Father, for a manifold harvest to come back in Jesus' name so that we will have to give again. I bless your people, and I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget, those that want to sow a seed, don't forget we go for you want to sow a seed toward Pakistan. Just when you sow that seed, just put on that seed uh, Pakistan. Amen. Just put Pakistan on that seed. Amen. Because we're going to be going to Karachi, Pakistan in November. We're going to be, go we're going to be uh, doing the work of God over there, releasing our faith and believing God for miracles and healing and deliverance. Amen. And we want you to be a part of it. So you can be a part of it by planting your seed. We thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory for it in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. If you're here today, you never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. Right now, I'm going to give you that opportunity also. If you never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, I want you to know how much God loves you. He loves you so much that if you would just repent right now and say, Lord Jesus, say this prayer with me right now. Say this prayer. Don't put it off. Don't procrastinate. Don't say you got plenty of time because time never waits on you. You. It won't wait on you. If it's your time, you need to make things right with God. You need to make it right with God now. Say this with me. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin. Forgive me, Lord. Come into my heart. Create in me a right spirit and renew in me a clean heart. Jesus, I believe that you are the Son of God and that you died for my sin. Because I believe this and confess with my mouth today, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I am saved. Thank you for saving me. If you say that simple prayer right now, the angels in heaven are rejoicing and God is being glorified because of you. Amen. Because you gave your heart to the Lord. God is rejoicing in heaven. Angels are rejoicing in heaven. There's a party taking place right now because of you.
God, we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. So if you're here today and you need special prayer, I'll pray for you right now. Anyone need a special prayer? I'll pray for you right now. Anyone? <clears throat> no one? Okay. Then let's, let's pray with these little ones by the internet one more time. Father, we thank you for those that are with us by the internet. We thank you, Lord God, that your hand rests upon them. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that every sickness and disease that was called out tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus, went into the spiritual realm. And God, those words fell upon the hearts of those that it was intended for in the name of Jesus. And Lord God, let your miracle working power right now manifest on their behalf. I give you praise and I give you glory for it in Jesus' name. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you again on Tuesday night. God bless. Bye-bye.